For the past few weeks, I've been selling my weekly drop items to build up my Steam balance for this video. And by the end of today, I'll have a free knife just by doing no risk trade ups. And I'm going to teach you exactly what to do so you can follow along and get a free knife for yourself. By the way, I'm giving away this vanilla gut knife when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Also, make sure to stick around and watch the whole video to find out what this week's giveaway is in the instructions to enter. It's a big one. But for now, let's get this knife. The first step and most commonly asked question on my channel is how do I get the correct float inputs for the trade-ups? There are three main methods I use. The first method and the one that's the most helpful for today's first trade-up is buy orders. But in order for me to better explain, let me show you today's first contract. The first contract consists of 10 minimal wear mil-spec skins from the Spectrum 2 case below a 0 0.0972 average float. Make sure to get each input for 10 cents or less. This trade-up costs $1 total and has a 112% profitability after steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. Every outcome is profitable, but the CZ Tactic Hat is the best at 36 cents of profit. Okay, well as you can see, there are 7 mil spec skins in the Spectrum 2 case with varying prices for minimal wear. Unfortunately, two of the skins, being the Oceanic and the Off World, are slightly more expensive, but the other five are viable options. As it stands right now, the Jungle Slipstream and the Morris have over a thousand current buy orders at 10 cents, but the Trika and Hunter are more accessible at just a few hundred. If you set your 10 cent buy orders on them, they'll likely go through in a few days and you'd start receiving the skins. Setting a buy order is as easy as going to the Steam Market, searching for the skin you want, clicking on it, now scroll down, click the place buy order button, set the price and number of skins you want, and click place order. The last and possibly the best option for this contract is the cracked opal which currently has no buy orders at 10 cents. There are a few thousand at 9 cents but this means if you were to place a 10 cent buy order you'd receive every skin listed at 10 cents. This is of course risky though as they might not have floats below 0 0.0972 so you could also just watch and try to snipe the best float skins. If you're not sure what sniping is I'll cover that soon but before I show you the other two methods let's do some of these trade ups. Alright man this is the first trade up of many on our journey to the free night can we start it off on the right foot? Show us that CZ Tacticat right here. Three, two, one. Tacticat. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's like the third best right in the middle. But let's just spam a couple of these out. We're probably just going to do these until we have enough balance to do the next no risk trade up. All right, no matter what the outcome is here, we'll have enough for the next trade up after this one. So let's see what it is. Ah, that's all right. Exposure, we'll take it. The next method and one that may be useful for getting inputs for today's second trade up is sniping. Sniping skins is essentially just scouring the market and refreshing the pages every so often to buy the skins with the floats you're looking for. If you're going to snipe skins, one tool that makes this way easier is CS Float Market Checker. You can easily find this by searching for it on Chrome and clicking the big blue add to Chrome button. Once you have this, you can search for the skins you want, like this stat track field tested MP5 kit bash, for example. Scroll down sort by lowest float and when you find one with the right float for a good price click instant buy for the speediest purchase i suggest opening multiple browser windows for each skin from the collection you're looking for and occasionally refreshing them to see any new listings now let's do some more trade-ups the second trade-up consists of 10 stat track field tested restricted skins from the fracture case below a 0.2 average float make sure to get each input for 62 cents or less this trade-up costs six dollars and 20 cents total and has a 138.06 percent profitability after steam fees with a 100 percent chance to profit each time. All three outcomes are over $1 of profit, but the Vogue stands out at $3.56 of profit. All right, the same goes for this contract as the last one. We're going to have to spam a bunch of these out in order to get enough balance for the next trade up. And the next one's a bit more expensive, so this might take even longer, but let's see. What are we going to get in the first one? Three, two, one, Glock Vogue. Let's go. Great start. Let's spam a bunch of these out until we have enough balance to start the next trade up. All right, I just noticed we already have enough balance to start the next trade up, but I already bought a couple more of these. So I'm just going to do a few more of them to pad our balance and hopefully get an insane knife today. What are we going to get here? Ah, uh, the worst one. But let's do a couple more. Okay, last one of these. We already got four Glock Vogues. Can we end it off with getting five out of ten Glock Vogues? That would be absolutely insane. Let's see it. Three, two, one. Vogue. 
Wow, we got extremely lucky with those. That's insane. But that puts us in a perfect spot to start the next no risk trade up. The third and final method I recommend using to find inputs is by looking on third party marketplaces like CS Float or Buff163 for the inputs you want. This is probably one of the easier ways because you can usually search for float ranges, but be careful because a lot of websites usually have some float overpay. And if you buy those, your profit margins won't be the same. So make sure you're finding good deals. And by the way, guys, don't get me wrong. No matter what method you use, it's not going to be quick or easy to get the inputs for these trade-ups by any means. But at the end of the day, you'll be getting a free knife, so you can't expect it to be easy. Now that we have that out of the way and you guys know how to get inputs for yourselves, let's get into the third contract. This trade-up consists of three Stat Track Factory New and seven Stat Track Minimal Wear Restricted skins from the Gamma 2 case below a 0.07 average float. Make sure to get the Factory New skins for $3.73 or less and the Minimal Wear skins for $1.25 or less. This trade-up costs $19.94 total and has a 100 142.48% profitability after steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. Every outcome here lands you over $1 of profit, but the Tech 9 fuel injector is by far the best at $22.01 of profit. All right, boys, now that we're sitting pretty at over $30 and I've just showed you all the ways to get input skins for these trade-ups, we're going to start doing these without spamming. This is where things start to get crazy. If we hit this Tech 9 fuel injector, we'll be making over $22 every time. So hopefully we can do enough of these trade-ups to get ourselves a knife. Let's start these trade-ups off with a bang. Please, Gavin, give me the fuel injector right here. Three, two, one. Boom. Oh, it's all right. It's all right. Second best option. Just over $2, but let's keep doing these. All right, man, we're going to need some of Gavin's luck today to get us a knife. Please show us that fuel injector. Three, two, one. Boom. Another airlock, man. Can't complain, of course, because these are no risk trade ups and we're making money every time. We're just getting that much closer to the knife, but we really want to see a Tech 9 fuel injector. So maybe on this next one. No words need to be said. Boom. Let's go. We hit it. Okay. Boom. That is the first fuel injector. Hopefully out of many. Let's see it. Gaben, can we get some more of these? All right. We have another one of these locked and loaded. We're at just over $57 right now in the balance. We got to get somewhere over 100. So, Gaben. Show us that fuel injector. Ah, uh, it's all right, man. Still making just over a dollar, but let's do some more of these. All right, man. Let's see it. Boom. Another Sid Mead, man. Honestly, such a bad skin, bro. Uh, and it's really not what we want to see today either. Aben, please show it to us right now. Let's go, dude. Let's go. You love to see another fuel injector, man. Ah, oh, such a sexy skin, bro. Like, look at the attention to detail they had on that mag right there. It's so beautiful. All right, man. One step closer to the knife. Let's keep going. Just over $80 in the balance. Can we get another fuel injector here? That would put us into the range of being able to afford some of the cheaper knives. But honestly, I want to go for something a little bit more expensive today. So a great way to move us in the direction of doing that would be another fuel injector. Ah, uh, unfortunate. Another Sid Mead, man. That's right, though. I'm going to go get a couple more of these contracts ready. I have a good feeling about the next few, man. Let's see what we can get. Do, do, do. Fuel injector. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. That was a little bit of a delayed reaction. I was just kind of staring at it in shock. Let's go, though. Let's go. And we still have a couple locked in. We just actually broke the $100 mark. We're at $103-ish, I think, just by doing quick maths. Um, but let's do a couple more of these, bro. Like I said, I want to get a little bit more expensive of a knife today. And if you stick around to the end, you're going to see why. And you're going to be real happy about it. All right, second to last one of these trade-ups man can we see another fuel injector three two one boom ah sid mead all right i'm not gonna lie i can't keep a secret the reason that i want to get a better knife is because i'm gonna use it as the giveaway for this video so you guys more than anyone probably want me to hit the fuel injector on this last trade-up let's see if we can do it all right man last trade-up for this contract and i'm just now noticing actually this has an og sticker on it bro look at that Inclusion of Polka 2015 Virtus Pro sticker. Kind of a banger. All right, it's getting deleted though. Show us the Stat Track Factory new Tech 9 fuel injector right now. No. 
No, dude. Oh, it's not what I wanted to see, bro. And I'm not going to lie. I don't want to just get you guys the absolute cheapest knife on the market. So what I think I'm going to do is cook up one more no risk trade up for you guys. The fourth and final no risk trade up of the video consists of five Stat Track Factory new restricted skins from the Spectrum 2 case and five Stat Track minimal wear restricted skins from the Chroma 2 case below a 0.06 average float. Make sure to get the Spectrum 2 skins for $3.43 or less and the Chroma 2 skins for $1.89 or less. This trade up costs $26.60 total and has a 100 35.26% profitability after steam fees with a 100% chance to profit each time. Again, every outcome is insane, but the Galil Eco is miles better than the rest at $38.87 of profit. All right, boys, if my calculations are correct, we have $107.16 in the balance. Nope. And I think it's fair to do five of these trade-ups to get you guys the best knife possible for this week's giveaway. Let's see if we can hit that stat track minimal wear Galil Eco. Three, two, one. One. Boom. Oh, one of the worst outcomes. Not the worst, but it's all right. We're still adding money to the balance. We're going to do four more of these. Hopefully we can hit that eco one time at least. All right, man, for you guys, I want to see that eco right here. Three, two, one. Gabin, please eco. Let's go. We actually hit it, boys. Let's go. 16.67% chance to hit it. And it's such a beauty. Oh my God. That's so helpful. We're adding that straight to the balance. And we're going to still do the other three trade ups. Maybe we can hit another one. That would be insane. All right, man. Trade up number three of five. We just hit that insane eco. And we hit another one back to back. Three, two, one, eco. Oh, okay. That's okay. That's okay. $4.40 profit or something like that. I don't even know how to pronounce this, to be honest. I've always wondered, is it Famas Jin? I know it's not De Jin. Is it Yin? I'm gonna say Jin. Famas Jin. But decent skin nonetheless, especially if you're going for like a gray or metallic loadout. Not bad at all. There's not that many great Famas skins out there, to be honest. All right, enough yapping though. Let's do the final two trade-ups. Second to last trade-up of the video. We're at over $150 right now. Get you guys an insane knife for this week's giveaway. Nothing to a knife with no risk trade-ups has been more than successful so far but can we hit that galil again that would be so crazy three two one galil oh we actually hit it let's go boys let's go oh my god we're at just under 200 dollars and if we hit one again you'll be getting like a $220 knife for this week's giveaway. Oh, oh boy, do I want to hit that one more time, bro. Let's see if we can hit it back to back to end the video off. That would be insane. Absolute last trade up of the entire video. I'm pretty sure we did just around 35 total contracts. I think it was like around 10 per for the other ones and then five of these. So kind of an insane video. Would be even more insane if we could hit that Galil again right here though. Three, two, one. Will. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. That is okay, boys. We cannot be upset with that whatsoever. I'm pretty sure with the quick maths, we're sitting at around $193 in the balance. So let's go pick out a crazy knife for this week's giveaway. All right, boys, I've been scouring the market for about 20 minutes now, and I think I found the knife. By the way, I don't know if you guys have ever actually tried to go this high up in the pages, but it takes so long for them to load. So it's literally taken me like 20 minutes just to get this deep in the pages into our price range. But I did find a couple knives that would be satisfactory, but the absolute best one and most beautiful in the price range, in my opinion, is this knife right here. The Ursus Damascus Steel in minimal wear condition. Such a banger, and I'm gonna cop it right now for you guys. Boom, there it is. Now hold up, let's go take a look at it. All right, boys. Here it is, new item in the inventory. Let's see it right now. Let's go, boys. We were successful today, but you know what? Let me go inspect this knife in game and show you just what this giveaway is all about. Boom, boys, there it is, a thing of beauty. And this is getting given away to you guys this week. So if you'd like to enter for a chance to win this beauty, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what your favorite knife finishes in the entirety of CS2. Mine's probably the Phase 2 Doppler, bro. That pink galaxy looks so good. But I appreciate you guys for being here. I hope this guide was helpful. And as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.